हाई गाइज वेलकम टू सी ए फाइनल एस सी एम पी और एस सी पी एम सेल्फ पेस्ट पेपर एम सी क्यूज वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू एस सी एम पी दिस चैप्टर फॉर्म द बेस ऑफ यूर एंटायर चैप्टर दैट इज बेसिकली फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर वन टू सेवन बट वॉट एवर यू आर लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर हेल्प्स यू टू बिकम अ सक्सेसफुल बिजनेसमैन आर एम इन डेवलपिंग दीज लेक्चर्स इज ओनली वन Every possible MCQ with detailed explanation, whether it's there in the module or not, is given to you all. Once all the MCQs from the module are covered, we are going to be covering every possible MCQ from the Board of Studies portal also. Our Telegram channel gives you all the updates that are required for this subject. Ensure that you all subscribe. That link is given in the description below. Our entire course can also be enrolled. You can look into the description. Let's start it off with today's question. So. Shakti Ball Bearings Trading Limited is considering the proposal to enter into trading of casting iron as well. Okay, Mr. Madhusudan, Chief Executive, Chief Strategic, enumerate the entry and the exit barriers of the proposed business line, and called a review meeting at the request of the CEO to consider final advice of CSUT. Okay. You chief cost advisor, okay. So we are chief cost advisor. Also attended the meeting and suggested that barriers have influence on profitability, rate as well as nature. Rate means whether you will uh, earn high or you will earn low. Nature means will it be risky or will it be a stable return? Mr. Sudan told SBBTL, I think that is Shakti Ball Bearing uh, Trading Limited, expected that there will be. please note this high entry and exit barriers you are advised to tell the nature and the margin rate in context of five forces model okay five forces model was by uh, michael porter so you have to advise or you have to tell the nature and the margin rate okay so nature means again i'm saying will it be a risky return or will it be a stable return and margin rate will it be a high margin that you are going to be getting means high profitability the rate of profit will be high or it will be low and do remember there will be high entry and exit barriers so four options you will be getting a low margin with stable returns you will be getting low margin with risky returns okay c you will be getting high margin with stable returns and d you will be getting high margin with risky returns if you know this this is the time to be commenting Please do that. Okay. See, first of all, you should always be knowing that whenever you will enter any business, whether there are entry barriers or not, whether entry barriers comes due to various reasons. If you all will see, we are a new business. Okay, there is market, but there could be entry barriers. It could be regulation. Example. In India, you cannot manufacture guns. Okay, you are not allowed to manufacture guns. It is a uh, defense sector is basically reserved for the government and for few companies like L and T up and so on. Okay, which are very big companies as such. There are other barriers to entry like fixed cost. Examples. Suppose tomorrow I start to be thinking, let's drop with the classes. I will try to become a telecom com a telecom company. Okay, like Jio, like. Uh, say bharti airtel like boda phone boss the amount of fixed cost that is there is huge for fixed cost you will had a chapter in fm if i do remember call is leverage high fixed cost can give you huge returns but then can be giving you devastating returns also in case your business does not do well and lastly patents and licenses example you cannot go and manufacture any type of medicine because there are patents and licenses that are required for that these are some of the entry barriers but then suppose you are doing a business can you exit the business at any moment of time if the answer is no that is because there are some barriers to exit also so now i'll try to cover barriers to exit first specialized assets and niche products you have lot of assets which are lying with you these are specialist assets in case you sell you might not get any value for them so therefore you will be thinking you are why to shut down let me continue that is one thing second higher exit cost so sometimes if you have to be exiting there might be high exit cost might be you have a contract with somebody that you are going to be running the business say for 10 years you cannot shut it down after 5 years there might be huge amount of penalty that is there 
Apart from that, even if I see like, you know, that sometimes taxation and government implications could be there. Example, like, you know, you have been given, say, uh, some kind of tax benefits if you will be setting up a factory and say that you will be running it for six years. So if you run it, say, if you try to shut it down, say, after three years, there might be huge taxation uh problems also you might have to pay tax that you saved before because it was exempt for a certain number of years environmental implication now this is one part that most of the companies do consider today in case suppose we decide to close our factory okay and we decide like you know that uh, let's try to dispose of all the things then whatever is that land over there Will it be bad for the environment? Yes, if it is, then the government might tell you to clean all the things that might cost you a lot. Okay, so that is one thing that companies will have to be considering. Employee rights and labor protest. Obviously, this is one part. The uh, employee is like, you know, one of the stakeholders. They might start to be protesting. Why the hell you're closing down? You might have to be paying huge compensation to them. These are barriers to exit. Now, do remember high barriers to entry and high barriers to exit will always lead to higher margins and will lead to a very high risk. Why? See. Now, let me just try to break this thing once for you in form of these kind of points over here. If barriers to entry are very high, do remember that everybody cannot enter your industry. Example, in telecom, as on the day that I'm making this video, we have three companies here. One of them is going to be your Geo, one of them is uh, Bharti, one of them is Idea. Other companies, they require huge capital to enter telecom business. So therefore, one thing, if I am there in this industry, say we are a company like say Geo, okay, run by Mr. Mukesh Amani, obviously margins are very high because competition is not much there. But whenever the competition will come, it will be huge, okay, so therefore, Till the time competition is not there, there are only two companies yeah, that are there apart from Geo. Okay, so therefore you will be able to get very high return. Their margins are very high. Huh? Okay, please do remember in telecom sectors, their margins are very high. Even if they suppose increase their plans by 5 rupees also. Okay, immediately that converts them into that much amount of profit also. Okay, because most of their costs are fixed in nature. But then you all will understand if suppose a fourth player comes, somebody like say Elon Musk comes then in that case immediately the returns will become risky so this is first point that is limited competition second cost structure such companies have huge fixed cost huge fixed cost that means high leverage you'll have done operating leverage so therefore if your business runs due to fixed cost you get huge profits but then in case your business does not run then in that case obviously your profitability is going to be going down a lot so therefore it is risky return Okay, high fixed cost obviously will lead to higher risk also. You will have done operating risk, which is measured with the help of operating leverage. Third, technological disruption. Now, whenever like, you know, entry barriers are very high, no, okay, technology changes very fast. You had 4G, 5G, okay, we don't know what is going to be coming in future. Obviously, if you cannot like, you know, try to adopt the new technology because it is very expensive. You're going to be running into huge losses. Best example on the date when I'm making this Vodafone as such is mainly there in 4G. They have not entered into 5G. Okay. Why? Because they required huge capital for it. They did a FP also of 18,000 crores. I guess you'll be knowing, knowing that. But, uh, they had huge losses from 2020 to 2024 because they did not have money to invest in the new technology. Regulatory environment, capital in, uh, intensity and exit cost. Okay, that I have discussed before also. These are few of the things like, you know, which will make the returns very risky. So out of the four options over here, correct option should be D. So therefore it should be high margin and risky return. So therefore if a company is there in the industry whereby there is there are high entry barriers and there are high exit barriers then do remember their returns will be very high but those returns are going to be quite risky so answer should be d that should be the correct answer yeah so my bet was on that that's the correct one i'll see you all next time with another one take care guys till then happy learning bye